Hello everybody, it's me Pred and we are back with Fallout 2. So, <clears throat> I'm still a little sick, but uh, it's definitely getting better. And we are at Reading. Uh, I thought about um, going to a different place now, uh, instead of Reading. Um, but, I'll guess I'll just stick with it. I don't even know if we have to be here or not, or if we have to do the Raider thing first. Um, I think I'll just do this for now. What are you looking at? Okay, I'm gonna rest, um, till morning. Because I want it to be, uh, bright when we first get into a new town. So, um, there are children here. I thought you were supposed to have horns on your head. What is, what is that supposed to mean? Like we're some kind of a demon. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. You see a youngster picking its nose. And that's one of the whores of this town, probably. No, it's a farm woman! How are you doing? Oh, look, it's, it's another casino. Okay, I guess we'll do what, uh, uh, what Tozi said. Well, he didn't really say that, but I guess we will go and see the sheriff first. See what he has to say. And one more thing I actually wanted to do, I wanted to pick a perk now. Finally, six episodes later, I want to pick a perk. And I guess the idea was um, to pick a perk that helps us with combat. Oh, I, why did I pick that? Did I pick it? Why did he pick it for me? What does Sharpshooter do? You have a talent for hitting things at longer distance. For each level of this perk, you gain... A plus bonus to perception for the purpose of determining range modifiers. It's easier than ever to kill at long range. Do we really want that? <laughs> well, that sucks. Why did you do that? That is really weird. I guess, I don't know if it's uh, the game that makes my mouse, like, click twice in a row really fast. Because we we have that in dialogues, right? Sometimes I I get too far in the dialogue. Uh, could be the mouse. <clears throat> so we have better criticals. That was one of the, the perks that was named. 20% bonus on the critical hit table. So that basically means it's like crit damage, like in Diablo, right? So like our criticals do 20% more, more damage. Bonus move. That's for movement. We don't need that. Um... What about the other more criticals? I think that's actually quite important. I mean, plus five chance to cause critical hit is pretty good, if you ask me. Um, that is actually quite um, a lot of crit that we get there. So I'm going to pick that. I'll just do it. <clears throat> more criticals. Awesome. So we spent all the points here. How far are we from the next level? About 5,000 XP. Good, good enough for me. So let's talk to the sheriff. So I have to be uh, honest. I looked at that ultimate Fallout guide just to see um, what area we, we would actually have to go next. And this isn't it, but it's definitely, it says like, okay, in, in, uh, in order for you to talk to the sheriff uh, and get quests, you have to be level 10. And we are level 10, so let's just do that. Howdy there, my name's... Earl Marion, I'm the sheriff in these here parts. Sounds downright picturesque, doesn't it? Don't it? Well, that's my job. As the sheriff, what do you do here in town? Keep the peace, mostly. At least that's what I'd be doing if I didn't have this leg all busted up. Oh, what happened to your leg? I was going out to meet a caravan, and it was late, so I took a nap. Next thing I knew, a damn gecko was trying to make lunch out of my kneecap. Damn thing. Almost had it too. Another good bite and I'll, I'll be sitting down. So your leg's still in bad shape, huh? Well, I wasn't much of a dancer before this happened. And I reckon I won't be afterwards, neither. I can gimp around, but Doc Johnson said I better not if I wanted to heal right. Sure, could use some help, though. You need some help, Sheriff? Yeah. I could use some help with a couple of things, just part-time, like. It pays real good, and you'd be doing a good thing for the town of Reading, too. Real good. How good is real good? So, uh, I just wanted to say something, because I had trouble with the Reading name, because I thought it was, like, the Reading in England. 
I was like finishing Sons of Anarchy, like uh, the seventh season, a couple of days ago, and they were talking about Klamath Falls. And there was a town called Klamath. So I think like most of these towns are like real towns, right? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, sure. You know what I think? Uh, real good. How good is real good? Pay varies by the job, but I've got a simple one you could start on. Just kicking some deadbeat out of this out of a squat. Pay you a hundred bucks to do it for me. Yeah, that doesn't sound too hard. Tell me more about it. The widow Rooney is way behind on her rent. Her house is just across the alley from here to the west. You just have to kick her out of her house unless she can come up with the rent she owes Major Ascorth. What the hell? We're gonna kick a widow out of her out of her apartment? Are you fucking kidding me? Well, that's, that, what do you mean that doesn't sound too bad? That sounds pretty bad. Well, how much does she owe ma Major, Major, Mayor, Escorti? What's his name? Escorti? I don't know, but I bet she can tell you. Will you do it? Uh, okay, I'll do it. Great, thanks for your help. Just come back here when you finish and I'll pay you and see if we can dig up something else for you to do. You know what would be uh, like really funny? If the rent was like a hundred bucks. <laughs> Oh, one more thing, I almost forgot. Here's a badge. You may need it. Oh, I'm honored. I won't tarnish it with actions you wouldn't approve of. Well, I'm not really a fan of uh, kicking widows out of their apartment. Now we can take all this shit right here. That's some good, good money. Look at all these rifles and crap. We're gonna sell that. Sell police property. Why not? Some stim packs. Yeah, I'm definitely not down with uh, kicking her out of the apartment. But I guess we should uh, talk to her and uh, see if we can find another solution for that, because I'm not I'm not going to kick her out. So where was her place? What did he say? I don't know. <laughs> There's probably another part in this town, right? It's probably up here. Should we go there yet? Probably not. Let's go to the other places uh, and talk to the other people. See if we can gather some more stuff. Uh, what is this place? It looks like a normal living place. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cassidy took the shorter route. What are you looking at? What you doing, mister? Stealing your stuff. Oh, you got drugs. I arrest you for possession of jet. Painless Doc Johnson. Rat clean, real good. What the hell? Oh, Doc isn't very nice, I can tell. Hello, I'm Doc Johnson, and my professional opinion is that you're looking a mite poorly. Need me to fix you up? Yeah, I think we're radiated, right? Uh, how much will it cost, Doc? Tell you what, I'll give you a group rate seeing as you're all broken up. A hundred bucks to catch up the lot of you. Patch up the lot of you. Yeah, of course. Use your money. Fix this up. That's good. There you go. All better. That would that do it for you? Actually, I have some questions. What would you like to know? Uh, I'm just wondering about what's going on here in town. Lately, it seems as though more miners are spending their time flying on jet than mining. If this keeps up, Redding's gold production will come to a halt. New Reno doesn't seem to mind, though. Okay, what does New Reno have to do with it? New Reno sells jet pretty cheap. Jet's, jets real habit forming like nothing you've ever seen before. They figure that if they get enough people in an area using it, <clears throat> those people will do anything to get more. That gives them de facto control of an area, like Redding. I see, I see. So, if you don't want New Reno to control Redding, um, just who do you want in charge here? Well, everyone wants a part of the gold here in Redding, so we're going to be controlled by someone eventually. I just wanted to have, I just want us to have the master that's going on. That what the hell is wrong with me? I just want us to have the master that's going to do the best job for Redding. Okay, who do you think that is? The way I see it, Redding's just the uh, best chance is with Vault City controlling things here. Oh, I wouldn't be too sure about that. Um, that's where I'm from, so I might be biased, but I really do think that Vault City can do a better job of helping the citizens of Reading. Okay, why is that? Because they handle, handle Vault City in a just and humane manner. <laughs> yeah, whatever. 
They would do the same for running, I'm sure of it. They would like slave you, make you make you slaves. Walt City takes care of the citizens, all right, but they treat non-citizens like dirt. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's nonsense. Vault City does extend special privileges to citizens, but only because they're better qualified to enjoy those things than brutish non-citizens. Okay. Besides, everyone can qualify for Vault City citizenship if they pass the test. Yeah, whatever. I'm not sure how the people here in Reading would react to rule by Vault City. They realize the benefits soon enough. I'm certain that they'll vel welcome Vault City's administration with open arms, uh, eventually. Yeah, I see. Well, let me ask you about something else. Uh, I hear that Reading has been having a problem here with its exports lately. We sure do. Too much jet, not enough work. But where did you hear about that? Uh, yeah, McLur in uh, Vault City told me. I know McClure. He's on the Vault City Council. What did he tell you? That mine production is way down and gold prices are way up. That's true. The miners here are all getting high on jet instead of working, so exports, exports are down and prices are up. The situation can't last. Yeah, that's not good. Let me ask you about something else. Um, why do they call you Painless Doc Johnson? It's because my patients usually pass out before they get to scream. Before they get to screaming too much. It's kind of a joke. I see. Well, that's uh, comforting, I guess. Let me ask you something else. Uh, got any medical supplies I can supplies I can trade for? I don't even need those. I might be able to provide you with some supplies. Let's see what you have got in trade. Okay, dog. We don't need medical supplies, do we? What the hell is that? Oh, it's a super sim pack. Mentats. We don't need any of this um, at the moment. So let's go back. Um, what about you? Who are you? I found a roach. Yummy, okay. Let's search the place. Can we? I don't know, they're standing in the... Oh, they're not. I thought they were standing in the way. Do we have to touch the curtains to... We do. Alright, what do you got? Oh, what the hell is that? A doctor's bag. We need that. Finally, a place where we can steal stuff again without getting in trouble. First aid book. That is good. Can you can we take shit out of those containers? No, there's another bookshelf. And wow. Oh, you cannot carry that much. Uh, what do we do now? Is there like another store here where we can sell stuff? Or should we just get uh, hand some to Cassidy? You got that. I need to tell you something you might not. Yeah. Okay, Cassie, you're gonna get another shotgun, some shells. You have to hold on to that rifle for me. See, I'm doing it wrong again. Yeah, just hold on to all of this. Thank you. Weapons master. Men at arms. Cassidy. So, let's get that first aid thing. All right. Okay, we talked to the doc. Very interesting conversation. It's not a good idea to get um, Vault City. I mean, both towns, New Reno and Vault City, sound like shit. But we haven't been to New Reno yet. Hello there, I'm Lou, owner of the Malamute Saloon, finest house north of San Fran. Okay. Hello, Lou. What's going on in this town? Well, mostly we mine gold ore here and trade it to other areas. You mine gold ore here? Yep, just in the north part of town alone, there are two working gold mines. You said that you trade the ore? Well, we trade gold ore to Vault City in return for medical supplies. We trade ore to the new California Republic in return for fresh Brahmin and other victuals. And we trade gold to New Reno for drugs and booze. You mine the gold here? Yep, just in the north part of town alone, there are two working gold mines. Okay, oh, something that's kind of odd is why do I remember these conversations? Because I, like, I think like the next question was, what's a Malamute? And I remember like in one of the earlier parts, I asked that, right? 
we have we have been here before and then we left because i wasn't sure that this was the place we had to go because we were not high level enough right or i'm going crazy one of those two things have you heard of something called the garden of eden creation kit can't really say that i've heard of one of those before what is it well it's a device used to uh um it's just something that i'm looking for tell me something else um i know what's going on in town uh what's a malmute just a big dog oh i see let me ask you something else uh where's san fran from here san francisco is quite a ways south of here you're a long ways from there south and just a titch to the west it's right next to the ocean don't you know here i'll mark it on your map don't know why any sane person would want to go there for though why is it dangerous well i hear all kinds of things about the whole city being full of nothing but crazy followers of some kind of kooky religion crazed followers yep that's right i heard that they're building some huge device that will let them get in touch with their gods or something like that don't know much for certain it's a long ways off seems like monuments to gods always seem to have some sort of trouble at the heart of them tell me about something else i'm interested in getting something here what can i do for you you want an empty bed a full one maybe some booze or other goods a full bed booze and other goods yeah booze and other uh, booze and other goods let's uh, do some training what the hell is that morning star mind script what is that are those like 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 their currency here in town that you can trade for ore i don't know okay thanks lou that's it for now okay let's try to talk to the other people hey there a sailor come here often you come here to visit with fanny may okay she's just a prostitute i'm not going to talk to her hello stranger erp look 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 um okay can we break into the office and loot his crap let's try that it's probably locked so salik oh no i thought salik was in the way he's not okay open the door it's hard to see the door there we go it's not locked this one is probably locked no it's not okay let's loot away we got some rot gut i don't know what the different kind of alcohols are for to be honest um don't know if they're useful for something except maybe uh drinking when you're an alcoholic and we were an alcoholic for for some part of the game are you one of the of our guys no you're not howdy my name is athabasca dick <laughs> what most people just call me dick of course there's some what calls me athabasca what there's some what calls me athabasca mostly they just call me dick though okay hey dick what's going on in town lately some old thing mostly same old thing all of us miners working just enough to get our next flight on jet jet what's jet Jet is a little something from New Reno. I just take enough to smooth out the rough edges. Okay, let me ask you something else. <clears throat> Hear any interesting rumors? Well, not much lately, except about about them Goldang Wanamingos. Wanda Mongols? What the heck is that? You're telling me you ain't never heard of the Wanamingos? <laughs> oh well, mm, sure I've heard about the Wanamingos. Let me ask you something else. <laughs> uh no i've no never heard of anything like that tell me about them well some say they were here before the a-bombs h-bombs and all what else hit uh others say they were ge genie oh, genetically engineered as weapons and then there is some what says that they are from a whole different planet what are they who cares where they came from just tell me what they are 
Well, I don't really know what they are exactly, exactly, but I can tell you this. They shut down the Wanamingo mine just west of town a few years back. The Wanamingo mine? Yep, and the great Wanamingo was the richest strike in these here parts too. But now, nobody will go near it. Heck, you could even buy it from Escorty if you wanted to, but nobody will. I could buy it? Is it worth anything? Well, not right now, it ain't. Haven't you heard anything I've said? It's filled with them damn Wanamingos. But if someone was to clean the place out, well, that would be a Brahmin of a different color. Heck, you wouldn't even have to kill all of them. You wouldn't even have to kill all of them. What do you mean? Well, there's some stuff in there that the owners of the Morning Star and the Coco Weave mines here in town would sure pray, pay a pretty damn penny for. What kind of stuff? Well, you see, mines used to be dug out by big machines. Heck, those machines are built to last. Both mines got big diggers. But, and here's the money question. The dang little control ships weren't made so tough. Neither mine's got a chip that works. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sure I understand what you're getting at here. Well, what I'm saying is that either mine owner would pay for one of these digger control chips. Heck, if they had a working machine and the other mine doesn't, they would shut the other mine down or buy him out in no time. Too bad nobody knows where to get one of those chips then. Squee squee, squeegee. Out your dang ears. <laughs> Okay, I told you where to look for the damn chip. And you've been listening uh, to a world, to a word I said. The Wanamingo mine had machines and they were working until the time the mine got shut down. Probably still chips down there. Just wait for someone to come along and take him. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me ask you about something else. But that's kind of interesting though. Probably go down there. Uh... Dick, what's going on in town? Dick, what do you do here? I work a spell now. And then, I work a spell now. And then here at the Morning Star, they can always use experienced help. Alright, do you want to trade? No. Okay, that was an interesting conversation. With Dick. Oh, what's wrong with my nose, man? It's like completely clogged up, I'm sorry. Okay, poor souls. Place your bets, minimum bet, five dollars. Place your bets. No bets today. Is that f something? Does that work? You see a slot machine. It's shiny. It's shiny frame and golden handle gleams seductively beneath the lights. Beneath. Its coin slot beacons you. And you feel your face flush with anticipation. Insert 25 bucks. Roll a spin on the machine. Plum orange bell. Nothing. Call it a day. You're out of here. Damn machine. Yup. Place your bets. Nope. Who's the boss in the, of this casino? Oh, that's the cashier, right? What do you want? I want to trade some things in. Oh, what the hell? We can sell some of our stuff. That is awesome. Uh, let's do that. Let's... Should have talked to Cassidy and got our stuff back. But we can sell this stuff for now. We don't have any stuff. We don't have any stuff. Um, I don't know. Our little sheriff star. We need that? No. Um, let us... I don't know. We don't need that. Can we sell the jet? Okay. Let's just sell these uh, little items right here. Um, yeah, we can we can come back later and uh, can we go in there? Okay, he said we should keep our hands off the thing, so I'll we'll keep our hands off the thing. Okay, let's check the rest of this town, of this part of town. And uh, see what's down in the shack right here. Maybe it's Widow Rooney. Probably not. Oh, it is Widow Rooney. Awesome. Hello there, young fella. What can old Widow Rooney do for you? Well, 
I've got some bad news for you, Widow Rooney. I see. So you're the one doing Escorty's dirty work now. What are you going to do? Kill me? Kick me out into the cold? Yeah, that's what I was going to say, but let's ask about Escorty. It says down here, I can't stand the idea of anybody kicking an old lady like you out. Okay, who's Escorty? Escorty, Escorty's nobody but the greediest, most conniving, conniving? Slipperiest, low-down, weasel-crawling, gutless slimeball in this here town. He's the mayor as well as my landlord. Oh, that is Corti. Well, why did you say so? I hope that eases what serves you for a conscience. Okay, I can't stand the idea of anybody kicking out an old lady like you. How much do you owe in back rent? Well, I owe Scorty six months in back rent. 120 bucks for this flea hostel. I just don't have it. Some of my Brahmin took sick and died. And I couldn't pay. If I don't get him the money soon, he's going to have the sheriff evict me. Well, 120 bucks, you know, I get paid 100 bucks to kick her out. What the hell, man? That's just dumb. Uh, I hate to see you kicked out. Why don't you let me pay your back rent for you? I have a little less use for money. I'm, I'm, I'm the chosen one. Let's do that one. I would hate to take money from someone touched in the head. Uh, Mr. Chosen One. It's nothing. I'm happy to do it. Here's the 120 bucks you need. You got 1,500 experience points for this. Thanks for helping me to keep my home. I sure couldn't have done it without you. Now why don't you let Buddha Rooney give you a great big kiss? Oh well, if you must. I was curious about that well you have outside. I wasn't, but uh, I wasn't curious about the well she has outside. I'll ask about it anyway. The well? Well, well. <laughs> Nothing much to tell about it, really. It's been dry for a good long time now. I could swear that I hear noises coming from it late at night. But my hearing ain't what it used to be. Noises? What kind of noises? It's probably... I'm probably just hearing things anyhow. Uh, but it seems sort of like a scratching or digging sound. Probably just dogs or something. Maybe so. Well... Interesting. What's wrong with the well? Are those the Wanamingos down in the well? Probably. Check out this place. Wanamingos. Who are you guys? <coughs> Sorry, I am Madame Majeska. What do you wish of me? What do you do here, Madame Majeska? Lately, I don't do much at all. I used to run part of Lou's operation at the Malamute Saloon, but we had a falling out, so I quit. Okay, let me ask you something else. Uh, looks as though a lot of people here are camp users. What's going on in town lately? Most of the rabble here... Just work, you get enough jet. They need something to take their minds off this place. Okay, we know what jet is. Hear any interesting rumors? All I hear about are politics. That always seems to be the big stir in discussion. Okay, politics, what do you mean? Have you ever been greased? Have you ever seen a greased Brahmin contest? Uh, nope, never heard of anything like that. Tell me about them. What they do is grease up a Brahmin calf. calf. And then everyone in the crowd tries to catch the calf. If you can't catch it yourself, you make damn sure nobody else can either. Okay, what does that do have to do with politics? In this game, Redding is the Grease Brahmin and a gold moan at that. New Reno, the New California Republic, and Wall City are all trying to catch us, or at least keep the others from catching us. What do you mean? Here in Redding, we mine gold. Then we ship it to New Reno, the NCR, and Vault City in return for goods. Each of those places would like to have the gold and the trade all to themselves. Why don't they just attack you and take it? We're big enough uh, and far enough away to make a takeover expensive as hell as dangerous. As well as dangerous. Uh, much more efficient to have us join willingly. What do you mean? All the three powers are trying to get Redding to choose which side to ally themselves with. They've all got powerful allies in town and it looks like things are coming to a head. Soon, Redding is going to have to make a choice. Okay, what kind of choice? 
The grease on this Brahmin calf is getting a bit thin. Soon one of the powers is going to have to make a major play to take Reading before the others do. When that happens, people are going to get hurt. A lot of people. Okay, who's working for whom? I'm not altogether sure, but I think the lineup lineups like this. <coughs> Dan McGrew all over New Reno. Marge LeBarge for the NCR, and Doc Johnson for Vault City, and I don't know yet who Major uh, Major. Major Escort he's for. Okay, those are probably people we'll meet here. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's ask about them. Who's Marge LeBarge? <laughs> Marge LeBarge is the owner of the uh, Coco Weave Mine. It and the Morningstar Mine are the only two working mines left in Reading. I think that Marge's uh, more of an NCR type. I don't think she likes their prudishness, uh, but she recognizes power when she sees it. Okay, who's Dan McGrew? A dangerous Dan McGrew. Oh, well, yes. He's the owner of the Morningstar Mine. It and the... Uh, it and the Coco Weave Mine are the only two working mines left in Reading. I think Dan is leaning more towards New Reno. If I had to guess, he likes his miners doped up and happy. Okay, Doc Johnson. Payne is Doc Johnson's sort of a mystery man. I don't know where he came from, but he's a real MD, all right. Only place you get training like that is Vault City. I'm betting he's been planted the here to further their interests. He must have pissed off someone there get the assignment though those VCers don't like the outside much uh, major major why do I say ma major all the time mayor is courty the mayor is a man that knows how to play both sides while he's stealing the middle he's got a few scruples scruples left but mostly he'll do what's right for Reading in order to that to keep his own interests safe Okay, how can these people help a takeover? I think that the folks here will follow Mayor Escorti's lead. He's a crook, but people trust that. He will go with who's ever strongest. You see, whatever is good for Escorti is also going to be good for Redding. I think he's just I think he just hasn't figured out who's closest to being on top yet, but he's got to choose soon. Alright. Oops. Oops. Uh why do they call you Madame Majeska? I used to work at the Malamute Saloon as part of what job people called me Madame. As part of that job. The name just stuck even though I don't work there anymore. Where do you work now? Lately I don't do much at all. I used to run part of Lou's operation at the Malamute Salon, but we had a falling out, so I quit. I understand. Okay. <coughs> Interesting. Interesting story in this town, if you ask me. So we have these parties fighting each each other over Reading and uh, we probably meet the other two guys uh, later but I will end this part now and I'll see you guys in the next part goodbye